Hollywood Pompeii guy. What up, what up, America? It's your boy Hollywood Pompeii, aka Pizzle for Shizzle, my nizzle. Read nine sizzle when I drizzle, you dig? And this is officially episode one of the Welcome to Hollywood podcast. I know y'all been tuning in to the Welcome to Hollywood performance shows that we've been doing. Um, I like to introduce my first guest. Uh, if you're from the city and you into turn shit, then you know who this guest is. We got my man Wildlife in the building. Boom, 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 um, wildlife. Uh, what that is it? From, from, yeah. I'm from here. What, what, is it? what, what part? What, what part of New Orleans you from? New Orleans. All right. It's complicated. Around right, born in the east, right? Right. Type shit. Niggas don't even know this shit. Right. No, I, I fuck with you. <laughs> niggas don't even know this shit. Right. Right. Don't even tell nobody. I guess. <laughs> I guess y'all already told nobody. But don't tell nobody else. Look. So, boom, I was born in the East, right? Yeah. Boom. Like, the first place I ever got stole from was yeah. in Bunker Hill. This nigga stole my school when I was like eight. Bunker Hill. Yeah. It's serious, but though. I fucking hate that. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I hate y'all neighborhood. <laughs> People cool. Whatever. Something. You know, hate your fucking neighborhood. Though. Bunker Hill's bad. Fucking hate it. Yeah. It ain't even because it's bad. It's because nigga jacked my school. <laughs> Bitch, I was eight. <laughs> I was eight. Bitch, you took my school. Man. So the, 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 the dude that took your school, did he look like he was about eight years old too? Or? I don't know. Oh, I don't know just... if I got jacked by a grown nigga, a little nigga. <laughs> so was it a face-to-face -face jacket? Nah, no. I ain't get... I got stole from that. Right, 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 I got right. stole from yeah. I get jacked. Jack, like, jack, right, right, right. You feel me? Knock on wood. That ain't wood. That's yeah. Some, <laughs> right, that's bougie shit. Knock on wood. I ain't never been jacked. Right. You feel me? Um, but... Uh, yeah, East, Bunker Hill, blah, 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 skip fast forward, like, I'm from the whole South, bro, like, I I got fucking kicked out of Schaumburg when I was nine, moved to Atlanta. Oh, all right, so you, you been a little bit everywhere. Yeah, like, I went to the, uh, I, I, I forgot the elementary or middle school, whatever the fuck, I forgot that I went to, but I went to, uh, Decatur High when I was out there, then boom, left from out there, and you kicked out. Right. Give me some. Boom, made it to So you really so you really experienced some some of your teenage and childhood in Atlanta and then got to come back to New Orleans yeah. still young enough, fresh well, enough that people remember you and like you skipped the part. Like I went to Texas. Oh shit. After that, you hear me? Then Katrina hit. And then we came back to the crib. Cause like we moved to Texas when no, I'm not. Katrina hit, we moved to Texas so we could be closer to New Orleans and then like some of the shit with my family happened, so then we moved back to the crib. Like, gotcha. We moved to the country, like out there, Hammond and shit, Hammond Punch of Tools, like, right. I don't know, me shit. Yeah, like that. I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, boom, I ended up going to like Hammond House, put out that shit, full of bull that shit. You know, I don't like sick right. niggas anyway. I still, it's like I was gone for all that time, but I still act like, right. I've been here my whole life right. type shit. It's just, I just had a li probably a little more calmness. Than what I probably would have. So, had. Quick, quick question: The whole time you're doing all this moving around and you traveling, are you doing music? Are you making music? Are nah, you into music? Fuck no, bro. I want to be a superhero, a <laughs> scientist, right? A villain, right? Bitch, I want to be everything. It's bro. crazy that you say villain, <laughs> and I could be wrong, but I feel like maybe in your childhood you really wanted to be a villain more than anything nah, else because I could see it in your videos and your music. You definitely got this character. That comes to life. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Not saying that you're not a real dude, no, 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 but it's no like man. there's this. Yeah, there's, I could see that you developed this brand. You 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 thought about this. It's almost like you're looking at a whole different person. You feel what I'm saying? Like a, like a comic book yeah. character, whatever the case is. It's very it's, animated. It's it's like it's it's like you gonna think I'm crazy as fuck after this. this I'll stop fucking with me. But it's like a spirit. Like right. it ain't like when I when that happened because see me and you talking right boom. Right, this me. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this ain't no, this ain't no pepper on it. Right, this right, ain't right. no spice on it. Like, this me. You feel me? This, this wildlife. Like, mm -hmm. you did. Like, that's the name. Wildlife, lotto, whatever. Right. Like, that's the name my, my, 
my homies, my so girls. So it's almost like you feel like you're possessed at that moment. Yeah. Something take over the body. Not an evil possession, but something I, at that moment is taking I don't over. Know evil, good, in between. I don't know what the fuck. It, it just is. is wildlife. Is that? Yeah. Now it's 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 a kid, man. Next to her, they got a big mouth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like right, right. It's, it's no, I can relate because I tell people when I shoot right. videos, it's the same thing for me. I don't know what happens, but at that moment. I start dancing on that camera, so I yeah, move. Yeah. People look at me like I, I look goofy, but when you see that footage, you be like, "Oh shit, bitch, I'm with you." I'm yeah, because I'm feeling it. Like something just takes over. I don't want to hear nothing. Nothing else exists. Just that moment right. take over. So I, I could relate to that. I definitely could relate to that. So when did you start getting into the music? Uh, like, like the first time I probably wrote a rap. I wasn't really rapping, but I had wrote, whatever year Rick Ross Hustling came. Okay. Oh yeah, that came out. I, I like I was into art real heavy, so I like I had drew a picture. It was him. I think he was on the cover of the Source or something. Whatever magazine cover he was on, it was like it kind of had that death row. Remember that? Remember that death row I know cover? Exactly you're talking about yeah. Dog, with the, with the with all the, black. Just yeah, the, it was yeah. kind of a vibe like that. I, I, it, it was it was that kind of vibe, but it wasn't exactly like that. Right. But whatever the case is, I I end up drawing a, a portrait of the nigga. Right. right? You feel me? And I, I kind of really was kind of obsessed with dude music at the time and shit. I really fuck with dude. Like, right. I, uh, nigga, my, my mama was fucking with the nigga had bought me a bunch of CDs. Nigga bought me like a Young Buck CD. He bought me Teflon. No, right. not Teflon, no, Port of Miami. Okay. He bought me Port of Miami. So nigga was into music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The nigga is like a real trap nigga. Nigga yeah. used to drive with his knees. Like, <laughs> like, like, this is my earliest memory of the nigga, bro. The nigga used to drive with his knees yeah. and roll the weed up. I'm in a pastor seat like this. Kill us. No, that's that ninety <laughs> shit. That's that ninety <laughs> shit. Real shit. I was like, this bitch gonna kill us, and uh -huh. hell, brother. But the nigga give me that a young buck CD, uh, the Welcome to Cashville mm -hmm. shit before he turned weird and shit. Right. Then fucking, um, Peter Pablo. PD Pablo. That. that nigga bought me Peter Pablo. North Carolina. Go yeah, ahead and stand up. Stand right there. That bitch. That bitch. Nigga bought me that CD. So, boom. Fast forward. That's like when I kind of got into it. Into like liking music. Like liking rap a whole lot. Yeah. Because at first it was like everything my mom listened to, which was only like Prince. Lil Wayne was like. Lil Wayne DMX was really not even a lot of Wayne at that time, but like DMX. That's my mom all day. DMX makes a like, prince. I feel That's like everybody mom. mom from that era yeah. had a crush on X, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like, she took it far, bro. Like, she only liked their bald head, dark skin niggas. Man, I'm my mom. Oh, shit. So, fucking, um, but, but. Like, fast forward and shit, that's that's what kind of got me into the shit. So, I kind of wrote a little bullshit ass rap. It was mega bullshit. <laughs> Mega boys, you can't even remember a ball from that bitch. But I ain't, I ain't fuck with it. I was like, I'm probably in middle school at right. this point, bro. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm in, I'm in high school. I'm playing football. I'm in like ninth grade or some shit in Texas. Um, from there, bro, I ain't fuck with music again. Probably till I got to Louisiana and I had some homies that rap, and I was the only nigga that really know how to use a computer. Good. I was the only one. So, I already know what happened. Yeah, I, was, I ended up engineering them niggas, and right. then like I, I, you know, time go on, you grow up, you mm -hmm. grow apart and shit. Like, but I'm growing this whole time. I'm growing a real passion for this. I'm like, I fuck with this music shit anyway, right. and this shit cool. Like, I'm, I'm making these little bitches sound nice type right, shit. Right. Like, so, but it still sounded like bullshit. But at that time, right, you right, know, right. it's like, oh, this shit is yeah. dope. You know, and that's the feeling that keep you going. To, to the point where you could get to be good, right. you know. But at the time, I thought it was good. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, but I never, I'm never busting the rap. Man, me and one of the homies out the click start linking up all her, and I, I, I start really rapping and, and kind of rapping more and fucking with it, fucking with it, fucking with it. Okay, I kind of like this shit. This shit I write, dude, yeah. bucking my head up like, bitch, you got them bars. Nah, you're at, nice though. It, at this time, I'm a real Wayne head, right. so this all I'm listening to is tune, like, right. fucking dedication, tools, fucking uh, suffix. So you playing with like, metaphors, this is all like, right, wordplay, right. right? And then I'm listening to Cassidy, like this. This is literally my favorite. This is my top two. Right, like, right. it ain't no three, bitch. Right. I'm, I ain't a whole of a kid, like, right, right, right. I. Respect to him, but, yeah, but that but don't that exist. Yeah, yeah I, like I I, this Cassidy and Wayne was the greatest in the world. I mean, right. So this the type of shit I'm trying to emulate, 
and it still sound like bullshit, but it sound cool to my like country right, right, right. So, yeah, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah. Fast forward, move out to like I was like move back home, home. You right. know what I'm saying? Back in the city. Fucking with shit, just just like just fucking with the the just still rapping, writing shit. I'm still writing at this point, like. Right. And and I don't know, just from that, I I just. I grew a, a real not 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 grew a love. I already grew the love for it, but I grew more of like a like a want to take it serious type of deal because I was looking back and the, my homies from the country who I was keeping in contact with, like every time I hit niggas up, right, niggas on some whole L shit, like right. no disrespect to them dudes, right, you know, I get what you're saying, but like niggas on some like. Family shit, like right, you know right. what I'm saying. There ain't nothing wrong with you that. You developed but... a dependency on it. Yeah, so you had the love and the passion. It's like a dope head. They depended on that dope. Yeah. You need that early in the morning. If you don't get it, you're sick. Your day fucked up. Right. And I didn't understand why niggas ain't feel like that. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like y'all the rappers, nigga. Right. Y'all the rap niggas. Right. I, don't I give shouldn't a fuck want this about, more than you. Right. I should not give a fuck about this because I, I I just stopped saying shit like I don't give a fuck about no rap. Right. I just stopped saying shit like that because I it ain't true. <laughs> but you can you can lie to everybody else, bitch. You can't keep lying to you. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? So like I don't I don't know, bro. That's I just started loving that shit and, and I, I actually started getting good when I started seeing them quick. Mm. I start actually getting good, like in right. real life and right. not just in my head. Right. Like, down around, the, I got a song called "Take That Shit" with a, with a dude named La Escobar. Like I we used to be in this little shit called ATM, fucking um, and that was probably like the first song I took serious. Like, right, that's like four five years ago. Like, that was like the first song I really was like me and little homie. Little homie ain't right back. Oh, he was right. a real kid. Right. Like this nigga, like sixteen, about right. fifteen, really. I think and. I, just fucking with him, I just start taking this shit more serious. Like, nah, and you definitely got a star presence. The, the, when I met you, it was at the showcase that they had booked me to be a judge, um, and I had yeah. So I had I had to pick the winners and all of that stuff. And needless to say, before the show even finished, my cousin told you I had already picked my winner when I saw Sad. you perform. And this is the guy's honest truth. You were probably like the second or third person to get on, and I told my cousin I'm like, bro. It's done. It's over. I don't need to see nothing else. <laughs> and this is how I know you really cold because people that know my cousin, they know that my cousin is one of the biggest crips in the world. Not yeah. not just in his neighborhood, but yeah. literally in, in the, the world. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, been, yeah. been seeing who that bitch be with. I be like, yeah, he, he, was, uh, yeah. he was on some interview. Some people came <clears throat> from the UK, some crips from London yeah. came to his neighborhood to interview him about, you know, global cripping. He was with the crips in LA. Uh, on uh, on the hood vlogs, yeah. and we all know what the primary affiliation is down here. Right, whatever. Right. So for my cousin hey. for a crip to be like, yo, the he homie. Really, hey, he was really jacking that. Yeah, shit. I, he, say, I fuck with. <laughs> I fuck with that. See, I, I fuck with New York culture already. Right, right. Like, and what's crazy before, like, before. Like Fabio and I don't know what's before right. them dudes like two right. two two G's and right, right. Fabio Pop Smoke. Like, I don't know what's before the woo when it right. comes to the drill sound, right? right? As far as New York concerned, it would that they would have started it. Anything they started, pro, yeah, they would have started it okay. prior to that. It would have been gangster rap and it would have been Dipset. All right, so so to I said I mentioned them dudes to say like if you like. If you fuck with my, my oldest shit, like, you'll see, like, I still got some of that shit up on SoundCloud. It's drill shit. It's, like, American niggas, how right. New Orleans niggas rap. Right. Uh, we're not even New Orleans niggas, and I don't sound right. like I'm from the crib or whatever, but I ain't tripping off that. But it's it's how American nigga rap, but on them UK Beat. niggas shit. Beat. Yeah. You feel me? So, when 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 I seen dude them come out, I was like, oh, bitch, we... Man, yeah. I probably will force it to be born of them, bitch, because I'm, I'm already on, on the same wave. wave yeah. yeah, so, man, I, for, for a stack to fuck with a nigga shit like that, like, yeah, I, he, that's big old respect, because I fuck with the nine trees, like, big they, old heavy. Like, yeah, that's, that's my people. Eight, I know he eight tree. That's love, bro. Yeah. Like, it's love. Yeah. Like, it's all love besides all that other shit, bro. I'm we are, we are, we've been pushing this shit in New York 
And I'm not going to lie, everybody affiliated and non-affiliated, I'm talking about Crips, Bloods, Latin Kings, everybody. Because we, you know, me and my cousin, we, um, even though we transitioned out of the streets, we still have a lot of those ties in a positive way, though. You know right. what I mean? Like, trying to help some of them dudes get back up out the street or them dudes that are in positions that have gotten out of the street that are in better positions than me help dudes like you because right. now they work at offices or they're A&Rs or they're this or they're that or whatever. You know, so we're constantly looking for pe for artists like you that are like, that got that wow factor. Not just the it factor. The it factor is cool nigga shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Smith had the will factor. The, 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 I mean, Will Smith had the it factor. That's cool yeah. nigga shit. Yeah. Lil Wayne had the wow factor. The wow factor is something different. Something different. Nigga ain't even got to open his mouth. And you know he about to wow you. <laughs> and when you jumped on that piano, the music was already fire. I didn't even need to see you jumping on the piano and tearing up the stage and all that. I think we got the footage. Whoever yeah. got the footage after this interview, man, send me that footage. Oh, bro, yo nigga need that. Yeah, send that footage. I only got like the, the smallest clip. I need you to send me that so I can play it back on this interview. Send me the I, smallest little clip you got. I got you. But, um, man, if y'all wasn't there, he's rapping, going crazy. Jumps on this uh, 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 piano, this old piano. Now he's climbing on balconies. I can't make this shit up. Dude climbing and swinging on balconies. Not once dropped the mic. <laughs> Fun move. Wildlife Fun for move. real, for Fun real, move. for real. So what do you got coming up right now? Man, I'm, I'm working on this shit called a yellow tape, right? Like, what's crazy, I got I got two tapes I'm working on. What they done? You feel me? But I, dog, my, my, my mind be racing so much, dog, that I don't really be knowing how I want to do shit, how right. I want to drop in and shit. That's why I be, that's why I, I be looking for like, uh, like, like manager type of people to kind of regulate that shit. Cause if it's up to me, bro, I'm like, I drop today, right? And I know that that ain't the right. No, that ain't the right. Shit. No, we yeah, gonna sit yeah, we, yeah. after these cameras. I didn't know what your situation was yeah, with management yeah. and all of that stuff. So after these cameras, me and you gonna talk about some stuff. I'm gonna definitely give you some game with all of that. So what? What's on that tape? What is that tape sounding like? What's what's the direction you're going with it? That shit, like, uh, it's crazy, bro. Like, that's where the two songs that you heard come from. Okay. The two songs I performed, the, um, those are the only two that's out. Uh, Milk and Cereal and a song called Timey. That's right. And that's one of my best friends. He ain't dead or no shit like that. And they still here, Timey Cruz. That's lit. Yeah, he, like, one of the best singers in New Orleans. The best in, in the city, the best, for sure. But outside the city, I still think you're the best. But we gotta bring Tommy on here. Yeah, that bitch hard. But like that bitch, um, yeah, Tommy and Milk and Cereal. That's the two that's out, and it's it's just grimy vibes, bro. It's like it's that's straight it. grimy shit. Like, but I need to definitely, we gonna definitely tap into that. Yeah, hey, you gonna fuck with it? If you fuck with my shit, you gonna fuck with it. So aside from the music, do you got anything else going on currently? Man, yeah, bro, like. I be in the other type of shit right now. I'm, I'm I'm establishing my business, right? Um, trying to kind of legitimize the shit. You feel what I'm saying? You know, kind of go to Gucci man, around sign yourself type of shit. You know, yeah, big bird. Yeah, yeah, right. That's how you do. That's Meek, Meek was uh, Meek was just um saying the same thing. He was like, you know, I'm done with the industry. Whatever. I, I ain't gonna say that. He in a position to do all.